Sometimes we have a more complex databases with multiple headers where we need to look up some values. For example, in this database, we have actual and budget in separate row as well income and profit in different row. Here we need to see project wise profit. So we will use nested index match function. Before I start my video further, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get my future videos notification. For index match function, I will start it with equal index bracket. Firstly, I will select the array that is then comma. Instead of row number, I will use match function. So match bracket. So this is my lookup value comma. Now the lookup raise project comma. I want exactly match, so I will use zero bracket close comma here i will use again match function instead of column number so match bracket lookup value this and profit comma now the lookup array c23 to f24 comma exactly match bracket close second bracket close press enter but we get error why because match function cannot work in multiple rows or multiple columns so that's why we get the error to solve this issue we will use helper cells what is helper cell i will go to c22 equal c23 ampersand sign and use c24 press enter here you can see I got the unique value. I will drag this up to F22 and I got the unique values here in 22 row. So I will go this formula and I will edit this match function and change my ray. Press enter. Now you can see that I got the profit 56812.50. For counter check, I will go here in database aluminium project so we are looking now budget profit so we will go to the last column that is 56812.50 we get the correct answer so now if I want to change the budget income I will click here now we get this amount so for counter check I will go to the same database and here we are looking budget income and we have the same value so if you want to see the actual income go and change it actual here we get the amount 225,000 so we will go to database and we have the same amount so if you want to see any other project income for example human resource project and here we get it actual income for counter check we will go here yes we have a same amount in the first scenario, we used helper cell. But if we don't want to use this, then how can we fix this? We will use the same formula, but instead of using helper cell, we will use control shift enter to fix the array. For example, equal index bracket, I will select the array, comma, I will use here match function, bracket lookup value, comma, I will select this array, comma, zero exactly match, bracket close, comma, I will use again match function, bracket, lookup value, actual and income, comma, now the lookup array, I will select first this and here second, comma, exactly match, bracket close second bracket close control shift enter here you can see I fix the array instead using helper cell now in our last scenario if we don't want to use helper cell as well don't want to fix the array then we will use nested index match function for example equal index bracket we will select the array comma I will use match function same like before 
lookup value comma select the array comma exactly match so i use zero bracket close comma for column i will use again match function bracket i will select actual and income comma now here i will use index function index bracket i will select the array and second array comma for row number i will enter zero column number zero bracket close for index comma now i will complete the match function so exactly match zero bracket close now i will close the first index uh, formula bracket and press enter now you can see i got the answer 165000 if you go to the database you have the same amount here so here you can change any other project and you got the income actual income uh, for example supply chain support if you go to the database you have the same actual income so if you want to see the profit and you have the 27,500 so go to the database and you have the actual profit same amount 27,500 in this way you can use nested index match function to look up values in complex databases hopefully you like this video so don't forget to leave your comment thank you so much